Hola amigos, this is Level 12, and today we are going to be talking about Hatayo World United, a retrospective. Was the drama worth it? So, I know there's new Hatayo specials coming out, like, for the next three weeks, but this is what I want to talk about. I will talk about the specials in my own time. This is more important right now, to me at least. So, for those of you that don't remember, um... We're just going to quickly talk about what Hitalia World United was, the drama surrounding them a year ago, and like where they are today. So it started as a fan comic by Hitalia fans for Hitalia fans in the summer of 2020, because at this time, July I believe is when they like started all of this, or maybe it was the June time. Um, Basically, we had no hope of getting Hitalia's seventh season. That came like in October when Hima announced all of that. So this was a good thing for the Hitalia fans to latch on to. It had multiple different writers, editors, artists, voice actors, and translators, and even animators, though the only thing I never remember happening was the actual animation stuff that they had, like, promised, but it, it's a group of a bunch of teenagers that don't expect much. They were very prominent on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Tumblr, and Webtoon, and it was started by Space Talia, at the time known as Hotalia, and a handful of mods which are no longer listed. Uh, it's now run by different people. I've blocked out their names uh, just for privacy reasons because neither of them seem to be so super attached to this project that much anymore. The last time anything was published was in like May of 2021. And for all intents and purposes, it started out as a really good fan project. One of the most prevalent fan fan projects going on at the time. I believe this was also the same year that um, Hitalia Day, there was some big Instagram thing of something or Tumblr thing where there was supposed to be a bunch of Italia fan projects. I can't remember what it was. I originally signed up for it, but then realized like my mental health just in 2020. So we didn't do it. But uh, basically that's what this was. However, this project was not without its own controversies. And less than a month later in August of 2020, it would have to apologize for quite a few things. The first least egregious thing, in my opinion, it had pro-incest si shippers. Uh, this was against their clearly defined rules, and one of the people doing this was a mod. They had, like, one really horrible mod that kept on breaking the rules. If you want a full in-depth video about what this was while it was happening, I'll link mine below. It's 30 minutes long. I also talked to the mods at the time, which, thank you to the mods that talked back to me. I'm... <laughs> I'm very sorry if, like, I ruined your day or anything with that, but for me it was important to talk to the mods directly. Uh, I'll link that video below. Uh, the lead animator was Cammy. Now, Cammy nowadays is very chill. She... I feel like she's really atoned for what she did, but at the time she was in hot water for drawing Nazi art for a friend, so she claimed. I have a video about that as well. In that video, I don't name her. However, I think because she's moved past it, and I think overall the Italia fandom has forgiven Cami. I suppose it's not too bad to say who she was. I'll link that video below as well because it's in the same timeline. Uh, the most egregious thing, I believe, was their NSFW channel in the Discord server, which was ran by miners, and you know, that was my biggest gripe with it, and they never, again, they, <laughs> to me, they never gave me a good answer as to why they just left the channel up. You can even, like, I even talk about this in the original video, like, I'm still to this day baffled as to why it existed for as long as it did, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> This was the controversy, and they put out this original apology, which I think they had to give out two apologies from what I remember. The first one was very vague and wasn't very accountable taking, and I think it might have only been on their story. This one was a little bit better. And then Space Talia herself, uh, who we are mutuals on Instagram, and she does know I'm making this video, um, she sent out her own apology, which I thought was pretty good. Overall, I think... Italia World United pretty much owned up to their mistakes and were like, hey, we really just want to make a fan project. That That is what our goal is. And to be quite honest with you, if that's their goal, then I have no issue with it. Like, they did it. They owned up to their mistakes. They cleared out and stopped doing the bad stuff. It's obviously changed over time, and I'm pretty sure this is why Space Talia left was all of this, like, shenanigans, and I don't blame her. Anyone that left the project due to all of these shenanigans, I don't blame them for doing that. Um, and maybe even that was for the best, to get a new team in there, a team that, like, saw the mistakes of the old team and were like, yeah, we're not gonna be like that. Because sometimes that's just what you need, and overall, I think the project, when it was doing what it was 
like when it was actually just working on the comic and stuff, it, it was fine. So what happened to the project? Well, it went off pretty decently. Um, the first episode released, I cannot remember. Um, I have a video of me reading at least the first two comics. I think I might have read the third one as well. But I did some reading of the first two comics. And they had decent reception. Like, people that were, that wanted this project to happen, they were, they were happy with what they were given. Uh, people that knew of the project but was leery of it, like, didn't do it, I suppose. I, I'm not really interested in fan works that much anymore. If this had come out when I was in middle school still, and had, like, the energy to devote to fan stuff, I feel like I would have been more excited for it. But I just wanted to see where the project would go, which is why I followed it for so long. And overall, the quality of the project wasn't horrible. Like, I remember my biggest complaint being w was that in the middle of scenes or in the middle of panels, it would seem like the art style would change, like, drastically change between, like, one type of style to the next. And that was my biggest, like, gripe with it. But obviously, it's a fan project. They're not getting paid for any of this. At least, they're not allowed to get paid for any of it because it is a fan project uh, using copyrighted materials. But that's neither here nor there. And it went fine. It went on for five episodes. However, I believe... Episode 2 had been out, or Chapter 2, or whatever they're calling it. And then Hitalia Season 7 got announced. And that's pretty much the project lost steam after that, because the Hitalia fandom was losing their gosh darn minds over Hitalia Season 7, and prepping for all the stuff Hema was, like, randomly dropping. And obviously, interest for Hitalia World United was going to drop as well. And so people slowly... I suppose, lost interest for Hitalia World United. The project went on, like, further after Season 7 was announced, but even they admitted, like, yeah, we don't really know where it's gonna go with Hitalia Season 7 and Hitalia World United. And the last time they updated anything was in May of 2021, but even then, I don't think that was Chapter 5. I believe they were just promoting some zine that was going out, uh, like a charity zine where you you bought it or something and then the proceeds were going to something i don't quite remember i didn't have the money to d donate or anything uh and then i'm pretty sure chapter four came out um in february so there was a big month gap between the the chapters so pretty much now the project is dead like a year later like it it went on longer than i thought it did and i commend anyone that worked on this project uh even the original mod team and the original creator space talia uh big props to them for keeping it going for as long as it did and this could not have been easy to organize all of that like <laughs> i talk a lot about especially to my personal friends i talk a lot about anything that was hard for you in high school you can milk on college application essays and i would for sure mention this maybe not the controversy stuff that happened in like late august but definitely mention how you organized a team of people and created a very large, and in my opinion, at first, it was relatively successful. Like, they regularly had multiple languages of this project coming out. At least the first couple chapters. I think chapter 5 is only in English. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Like, anyone that worked on this for any length of time, please feel free to mention you worked on some type of project like this in college apps. Like whatever whatever you can do just just do it uh because it, it for what it was it was impressive especially considering this is a dying fandom especially before season seven was announced like oh my gosh italia in 2020 before hema like blessed us all like gosh these people were doing the lord's work um so the final question is was the drama worth it and Looking back on it, considering I've been thinking about doing this video for two days and I had to really remember, what was it again? I remembered the not safe for work chat and I remembered something about Cami. I couldn't quite remember what she did, I just knew she was on the team. It, I had to go back and rewatch my old video, which by the way, all the points in the video that I watched, because it's 30 minutes long, the only thing I didn't finish watching was the last maybe five, eight minutes of it. Um... But pretty much all of my points in there, I pretty much stand by. At the time, I, I think it was kind of 
shady, I suppose, what they were doing, like skirting around doing certain things when I think they could have handled it right then and there. So it didn't have to get as big as it did. But overall, was the drama worth it? I mean, is drama ever worth it? Like, I was actively live there when like the drama get and stuff happened and with like beauty youtube and yeah it's entertainment like i do this to entertain people i talk about this stuff because i think it's entertaining but like in the long run is it worth it to for like people's mental health Pro probably not <laughs> like the project itself Unless you went looking for it, you wouldn't know it was in all of these controversies. Now, when you type in Hitalia World United, my video, or or you go to, like, images, my video is, like, the third or the fourth search result that comes up. So, I suppose if you went looking hard enough, you could find out this stuff. But overall, no one really talks about the drama that happened with it. And even Space Talia was, like... Yeah, remember all the people trying to cancel us? And I think that's the issue, is the cancel culture. Some people were really like, shut the entire project down. And I don't think my stance was ever that, you know, that aggressive. But I was like, yeah, just take out the problematic people, apologize and move on. Like, what can you do? Like, we got to think about this in company terms. This wasn't a company or an LLC or whatever that jazz. But it was an organization of mostly teenagers, let's remember, these are teenagers, their their brains aren't fully developed here, that were just trying to make a project for other teenagers in a dying fandom. Like, no, it wasn't a scam. Let, let, let me make this clear. No money was taken. So like, we can, we can get that out of the way. I think overall, like, Italia World United shows both the wonderful side of the Natalia fandom in which if we want to do something, we can probably get it done. Like, pull enough of us together with clear heads and, you know, not stress about school or college, and we can do stuff. But it also shows the side of the fandom that's kind of deplorable. You know, people in it that don't care about others' safety or respect others' boundaries and can take things way out of hand. Like, it's the... Italia is an enigma that is always pulling something, and this this just amplified it. But overall, just little rant out of the way. Overall, was the drama worth it? I mean, entertainment-wise, maybe, but like in the long run, absolutely not. Like, can we just collectively, as a fandom, just chill out, please? Just all I'm asking. <laughs> All I ever want is for us to be chill. Granted, there's a lot less drama than there was last summer. Last summer, I got traumatized. Um, so we're not doing that today. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I, <laughs> listen, I had another video plan about some other Hitalia drama that's a lot worse than this. Uh, it's nothing new, by the way. It's just the, it's just the cyclical pattern of how bad people enter that Hitalia fandom. But anyways, uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, please don't go harass anyone in this video. I th but yeah, don't go and harass anyone that worked on this project, please. Most of them are were minors and are still minors. Gosh, I hate being one of the few adults in this fandom. Anyways, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more random fandom things. Ciao, chicos.